Okay, so we got some spoiler titles for episode 82 and 83 of Dragon Ball Super. And definitely, it seems as though these matches are wrapping up for the preliminary. And we're going to get maybe a little bit of a downtime break for the Universe Survival's true tournament. Now, based on episode 82, it seems as though uh, we might not have all of the fighters in the main tournament based on what you would assume at the very least would happen if somebody interrupts a fight. But uh, l let's talk about episode 82's title. Dragon Ball Super episode 82, The Righteous Warrior Topo bursts in March 19th. And based on the description of bursts in, it means to intrude in this particular instance. So maybe the fight with Goku and Bergamo lasts into, from episode 81 that we already know, that's going to be the fight that starts there. It's going to last into episode 82 and for whatever reason Topo was just gonna get this raging boner to jump in the fucking fight and ultimately that's where maybe things are gonna get left off maybe we're not gonna have a clear-cut winner between Goku and Bergamore and also because I didn't get to talk about this because I didn't have the full translations based on what we know the Omni King agreed that if Bergamore defeats Goku in that fight he will agree to completely get rid of the rule of destroying the universes so Everybody in the crowd at that point is going to say, yo, get, get, defeat Goku so we can just get rid of that rule and we can just have a fun tournament. And that's maybe why Topo jumps in. Maybe Goku is just about to defeat Bergamore. He's like, yo, he got him on the ground. He's like, yo, no more Scooby Snacks for you, motherfucker. And he's about to kill him or, you know, not kill him, but defeat him. And that's when Topo just gets mad and jumps in. And Topo, in case you don't know, is that big mustache motherfucker who is also seemingly the cloaked guy that we've seen in the trailer that's right next to the clown and stuff like that. He seemingly is him and he's probably going to intrude, which could effectively get him destroyed which because there's been a little bit of controversy real quickly to talk about the fact that the cloak guy originally was very slim and had like some gloves seemingly and looked very different than the cloak guy that we're seeing now which is topo and he looks very big and stuff like that and i'm assuming what happened is maybe there's a possibility they could have changed things but also there's a possibility that a trailer was showcasing us something different and what i mean by something different is maybe when they returned the cloak guy is going to be a different person and it could be that alien looking motherfucker maybe topo is going to get killed by the omni king for intruding in the match because goku had bergamo on the floor and obviously he wanted the rules to get thrown out so the fact that nobody will die and omni king's gonna be like Nani and fucking kill that motherfucker. So that's what I'm possibly assuming is going to happen. Either way, maybe Topo won't be in the main tournament based on him jumping in and interrupting a fight. But you never know because the Grand Priest has been kind of a cunt and allowing cheating to go on from the very beginning of the preliminaries with Majin Buu and Bazil. So we got to wait and see about that. Then we got the title for episode 83. Dragon Ball Super episode 83. Forming the Universe 7 representative team. March 26th. So that's probably going to be either Goku, Gohan, and Majin Buu, or just Goku by himself recruiting more people saying hey will you join our team hey will you join our team or it could very well be that he's going to come back to the tournament and then we're going to maybe get a little bit of a flashback of how he got everybody to join because yeah that, that title is kind of like it's a little vague i mean we know more or less that it's going to be forming the team but is it going to showcase him going to each and every member and is this going to last for episode upon episode i ideally don't want this to be like another month or two of those filler filling episodes where it's like okay we got to handle android 17 for this this episode trying to convince him we gotta handle 18 and krillin let's just get the full on you know get get the team maybe just like 17 just says while he's standing with 18 ah that sounds like fun i'll join or something like that because i don't want just you know months upon months of us getting one character at a time getting you know persuaded into joining this i mean i i just want to see what makes roshi jump in this shit i want to know what made the legendary jackie chun decide yo it's time, bro. It's fucking time. You're about to get old, motherfuckers, with other universes. So, yeah, the two episode titles, and based on what we know, it seems as though the preliminaries will be wrapped up by episode 83 at the latest, maybe episode 82, even towards the end, with Topo jumping in. Kind of curious what you guys think. Do you think Topo is going to be obliterated for jumping in the fight? And based on what we know, he's more than likely going to be jumping in because of, you know, him wanting to get rid of those rules. He wants Goku to lose. So, he's probably going to be jumping in to hurt Goku. You think Omni King's going to kill him? What do you think is going to go down? 
there. And do you think episode 83, forming the Universe 7 representative team, you think we're going to get that all resolved within that episode, or it's going to take multiple episodes to get everybody on board to join the team? Any overall expectations for these episodes? I can't fucking wait either way, but that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Fanab World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.